Hello everybody. On today's reverb review we will be taking a look at the Beatles 2009 remastered stereo box set. Here you can see it contains all 13 of the original albums remastered. And it also comes with the two two disc past masters and exclusive to this box set is a uh, DVD which contains all the mini documentaries that are featured on each of the individual albums. It comes with this nice slip case. There's the front and the back has the cut apple. The box is very sturdy cardboard and we've got this magnetic latching side here. We flip it open to reveal all the albums inside. First we have Please Please Me. Each album comes with its own book with liner notes from the original album and there's new historical notes and also recording notes for each each album. Each one also features these gatefold sleeves with new or unseen photos. Next is with the Beatles. Each CD also features the replica of the, the album sticker. And these are the UK versions too, they're not the US capital versions. Here's a hard day's night. Beatles for sale. Next up we have the Help album, it features a song from their second film. This 
bunch of still pictures from the film. Next is Rubber Soul. Here we have Revolver. And then Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And here we go with the second stack, starting with Magical Mystery Tour. This one has the contents of the 24 page booklet that came with the original album, a little comic strip of the movie. Here is the White Album. It's got kind of a embossed logo there, like the original album did. No serial number on the front, like the original album. It does come with the replica of the poster with the lyrics printed on the back. And here we have the Apple logo. It's our first Apple Records release. And 
the double album. Here we have the soundtrack to Yellow Submarine cartoon movie. Here's Let It Be. And their last album, Abbey Road. Then we have a two CD or two volume set of the Past Masters. These are all the songs that weren't featured on the albums but were released as singles. Just two. Just one. And exclusive to this box set is the mini documentaries that are featured. It's a little uh, short video on each album. With interviews with Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr and other people. Each of the uh, each of the albums does have the documentary on the CD as well, but if you get this set you get all 13 on one DVD, you can watch them all right in a row. Overall this is a pretty high quality set in my eyes. The sleeves are very heavy cardstock, nice glossy glossy pages here. The one thing I don't like is that to take the CDs in and out you slide them back and forth in the the paper sleeve which could I suppose over time scratch the discs but I just ripped these to my computer then I don't have to worry about taking them in and out. Other than that it's a very very good set. Right now it's $190 on Amazon so it's a little pricey but I think it's worth the money if you're a collector like I am. So there you have it. This has been a reverb review look at the Beatles 2009 Remastered box set. Thanks for watching.